guys, we're gonna design and animate this flat geometric city with transition. I'll explain my thinking process and show the references. When I imagine a city, there are usually skyscrapers, also a bridge with a train, some futuristic looking buildings and also maybe a tower. These were my references that I found on Pinterest. At first, I simply illustrate the list of elements I need. I don't think much about the composition for now, although the elements should be of different shapes and heights to give me this variety that will be needed when I put them all together in a scene. It is crucial for an illustrator to look at an object and be able to break it down into simple shapes. Because we start illustrating with simple shapes, no matter what the style is. And designing specifically architecture is really good exercise, because buildings are easy to imagine being made of simple basic shapes, like rectangles, triangles, and sometimes circles. I can't remember the source right now, but I've seen this building. It's the Lotte World Tower in Seoul, illustrated with zigzag lines inside, and it's imprinted in my memory. So watching a lot of illustrations in a style that you like is important. Random ideas strike me quite often, and 9 times out of 10, it's something I've seen somewhere, liked, and therefore remember. You may say, I'm a motion designer, I'm into After Effects, I want to create cool animations. This painting stuff is boring, Christina. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but the animation can't look cool if it's initially poorly designed. I suggest you always aim at creating the style frames that would look good on their own, even as still images. They already should be powerful. Then, when you add animation on top of already nicely designed style frames, I promise magic will happen. By the way, if you think this video is useful, please give it a like, it helps with algorithms, and if you're into this type of tutorials, subscribe then. I also repeat the same patterns every time I can. For instance, I've already used a bunch of horizontal lines in that pyramid, so I'd use them again in this tall building. Moreover, I'll copy this building, resize it, and use it several times in a scene. This creates repetition and ties the elements of the scene together. I'll do the same with the clouds, the stars, the trees, and bushes. Design them once and then copy, resize, or recolor and use several times. It also saves a lot of time. You don't need to create five variations of a tree. One is more than enough. There are two clusters of elements. In the final composition, you see a group of elements on the right and on the left. Each group has a tall accent, a few different mid-sized buildings, and the same exact trees that fill up the space and unite the group. The bridge is in the middle and it connects two groups. Often the shape of the elements would suggest how they should be animated. As you see, the cloud has this little tail that indicates that the cloud should move in the opposite direction from the tail, because the tail is on the back, right? Imagine a comet. The same principle applies to the dashes. If you animate an offset, notice which direction the dashes are moving to, the imaginary wind should make them move back towards the tail. Both the trees and the buildings would just rise up from the underground. Imagine an oasis appearing on the horizon in the desert when you move closer to it. At the beginning you don't see it, but then it sort of materializes out of the sand. This was my reference when I thought about how to reveal the city. But also, the movements oftentimes would be suggested by the transition from the previous scene. Here we have a wipe transition that happens vertically from the bottom to top. In this case, this wiping of the previous scene kind of drags the elements along with it, as if it was, I don't know, sticky maybe. Then such reveal of elements is logical and looks appropriate. I mask out the precom so that the buildings are not seen when they wait in the underground. Let's look at the result. Hope this little breakdown was interesting and inspired you at least a little. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.